Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Jay-Z here with another video on Action Timanin. Today we're gonna check another BR builds, but before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share, or subscribe if you enjoyed the content. So, more people have been requesting F2P videos, and I'm gonna do more F2P videos. And for that, we're gonna focus on the supporters. Uh, there's a plethora of good F2P supporters nowadays, but maybe not all players have those F2P supporters. So I'm gonna mention some substitute for certain strategies and probably red is the easiest one. So we're gonna be tackling step 41. Uh, if that's too challenging, guys, try 31 or 21. That's uh, 31 is like the best, uh, the, the milestone that you should try to, to clear because at this point with a little bit more than 10 runs because not every run is going to give you double double drops of coins. Uh, just with 10 BP, you will be able, a little bit more than 10 BP, you will be able to uh, farm everything. Uh, well, your daily points, that's what I mean. So, let's see. What is gonna be the composition? Lapis, Phantasma, and Mica. Mica you can substitute for your favorite Range attacker, we're fighting against Worm Knight, so you do want a range attacker, okay? Let's see. So, let's see. Lapis, level 87, of course. Uh, do try to get a Lapis, Azeroth, uh, Emily, Shisui, and Phantasma to level 87. Those characters are very, very important, trust me. And, as you can see, this one is level 87. Her stats are almost maxed out from the stat training. These are the stats of the customs. The weapon, though I'm using a gacha weapon, I'm not going to crit because I'm not using limited equipment. So consider it a, a bit stick. Both of these are going to be treated as bit sticks. All, all my weapons are going to be treated as bit sticks. I am not going to use any of their effects um, for the most part. Maybe. Uh, a straight crit lance, but that's gonna be odd. Um, in any case, so you can substitute these weapons that I'm using with all my characters with arena weapons, and that's gonna be fine. Do try to get as much S levels and uh, enchantment as possible. For Megatemas, I'm gonna be using anti human. Um, if you don't have perfect Magatamas like this, with the element, with the perfect traits, you are, don't worry. SR, as best as you can, it's gonna be fine. Then, whatever Magatamas here. Skills are gonna be Spear Barrage, Piercing Dash, and Gem Support. You can change Spear Barrage for Moral Boost, if you want. That's completely fine. Depending on how much uh, damage you deal, if you're able to clear it, and how, how much damage you receive. If your car re character receives too much damage and you feel it's risky, then uh, use this skill. Wait a moment, I don't have piercing dash. <laughs> I'm gonna use moral boost, gem support, and spear barrage. Uh, but uh, it depends. The combination is gonna depend the, uh, on what you want. More healing, use this too. Even more support, use also moral boost. You need more damage, Piercing Dash, Gen Support, Spear Barrage. You need um, damage and defense, and then Spear Barrage, Piercing Dash, and Moral Boost. I never recommend dropping Gem Support uh, for the most part with uh, supported Lapis, but if you want to, that, that's an option. Those four skills are, uh, you can rotate them however you like. Then, for supporters, we're using Mido Haruka. Humans are very fortunate uh, in VR uh, as enemies because you can just grab Mido Haruka and you're done. You're golden. It's super easy. She gives a ton of damage and damage reduction. So be sure to enchant this and get two copies. Max enchantment, max, max S level because it's just that great. Then we're going to use Arbella, pretty F2P, and Lilim. In case you do not have Lilim, because it's been a while since we got Lilim, you can use other options uh, depending on what you have. You can use, for example, let's see, where are they? 
Sakuya the same. It's been a while. Nana, it's been a while, but it is there. Um, Sakura, I doubt many people have this one. At least the four copies. Uh, Akina, Akina is there, but I wouldn't recommend it because you already have good healing. Um, and um, that's kind of it. There's few options. This one you you don't want to because you're going to heal constantly, so it's not a good idea. But in case that you uh, don't think those are good, you can also grab one of the other supporters uh, that you have. Maybe you have a Hebiko. Maybe it's not maxed out, but it is good enough. Grab a Hebiko. Grab a Fuyumi. Grab whatever you have that increases your performance. Okay? So, now let's go with Phantasma. Phantasma, this is the stat training. As you can see, she's level 87 as well. Uh, these are the stats from the customs. Uh, this is going to be the weapon. Both weapons are going to be 4. No, this one 5 out of 5 and this one 4 out of 5. Uh, and I have to change my Magatamas. I was thinking of going defensive, but I'm going offensive with this one. So, uh, where are they? This one, this one, this one. And this one. All of these are anti-human with the earth element which is going to be useful and we just put whatever Magatemas over here and done perfect for skills um actually i, I defensive was okay because i'm going red but uh, red red with offensive or defensive Magatemas is completely fine whichever you want to use is okay uh don't I don't recommend using HP because you have enough healing. Instead, go with damage reduction. So, Succubus Whisper, Crunching Fear, and Phantasmal Mirror. Usually, I use Twister Dance and Crunching Fear, but since since we have Lapis giving extra healing, uh, there's no reason to go with the double heal. Instead, we want to increase the damage of the whole party by activating Succubus Whisper. Uh, Crunching Fear is the healing option, and Phantasmal Mirror uh, escape. Uh, escaping tool, you know, pretty easy, pretty simple. Why the reason why we use Phantasma is because she provides a debuff, even though the enemy is immune to debuffs. Uh, it's super useful, but it, it bypasses their restrictions. So uh, we're gonna use that for supporters. Of course, we're gonna use Susune and Galilim, taking advantage of that uh, immunity bypass that we're using with the leader skill and. Uh, Shirayuki. Shirayuki just to increase damage. So, let's see. The next one is gonna be Mika. As I mentioned, substitute this for your favorite range attacker. In my case, I'm using Mika. I was thinking about using Astros, but I do have footage of this uh, BR boss with Astros, so I don't see the point in doing that. I do not recommend uh, Aina, because though she's a range attacker, the truth is that she's a mid-range attacker, not a long-range attacker. Uh, you can use Emily if you want, not my favorite, but you can use Emily. You can use... Um, I, I recommend long-range attackers, but Eleanor is a good option nonetheless. Uh, you can use... Zora, Zora is an excellent option. Yuki Cass is also great if you have her level up. So, uh, hmm, no, Tokiko no. Tokiko is a debuffer. And she, she does deal a good amount of damage in blue. But uh, though it's range, it is not long range. It's mid range, even close range. So I don't recommend this one. So there's option as you can see, select the one that you feel most most comfortable with. I'm gonna share the build for Micah. My Micah is level 87. Uh, this weapon is gonna be a bit stick because I don't have the skill that it's enhanced with this weapon, so it doesn't do anything. It it consumes my particles without a reason, actually. So it's more of a demerit. Um, then this other weapon, both five of five out of five, bl both plus thirteen. Anti-human wind Magatemas, whatever Magatemas on the subslot. Remember, don't worry if your Magatemas aren't perfect. Just reduce the step that you're facing and you should be fine. Then, it's the training I almost forgot. 
This is her stat training. Stats from the customs. Skills. Death from above to deal damage. Ruthless explosion. Because it has a good amount of multi-hit and damage. And carpet bombing. As simple as that. Uh, carpet bombing is going to be super easy to activate. Thanks to the fire pits. And it is long range. It is not uh, a close range attack. This is a perfect touch. So it's perfect for dealing with with Ingrid. Then, uh, for supporters, Stella, Nino, and Granny. Pretty easy. But these ones, it's been a while since we received them. So maybe new player, newer players do not have them. Good thing, guys. You can just grab a Homura. Particularly good for this. Because your range attacker is going to be safe. As long as you control them. And you don't need to enhance this. You can. I do suggest that you do. But you don't need it uh, enhanced. So you can grab, as I mentioned, the Homura for your red pills. Uh, let's see. What other F2P options we have? You could add Sharia. I do not recommend it because it's, this is defensive and uh, Mike is going to be uh, the, the DPS. But if you feel a little bit uncomfortable with the damage that you receive, you can use Sharia. Sure. Mm, who else is F2P? Like, th there's not that many options. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe you can use Kirara. Yes. Yes, it is possible. Uh, especially with uh, Phantasma. Let's see. If you're using Astroth, you can use Furfur. Yeah, that's right. And I do not recommend that you use this. Mm. I, I think that's kind of it, guys. At most, you can use this on the main. So even though you are not melee and you don't get benefits from this, you can get the benefit from the perfect dodge uh, by abusing the, the perfect dodge skill. So, yeah, it is a thing. You can use this, oddly enough. So, let's test this build super quickly. It is going to be fine for the most part. As I mentioned, reduce the uh, step according to your needs. You should be fine as long as you have enough HP recovery. Oof. I also want to get near. Oof. Destroyed. Destroyed. Uh, why do I want to get near? So that I am in the, uh, in the circle so that I get an attack buff. But if you think it's risky, just... Stay away, it doesn't really matter. Nice. Like that. Well, I am critting, I guess. Uh, so technically those skills do affect the gameplay. Technically. Uh, th those weapons. Because... I No, it's not... At this point, we should already have the 80% demerit, critical rate demerit. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. For the most part, I am not quitting. One or two stray kits, but it's fine, as you can see. It is a pretty simple build. And if possible, while doing VR, try to rely on red builds uh, for your DPS. Uh, a quick uh, comment just to finish. Collection supporters. So, range DPS are going to take a huge benefit from using Homura. So, be sure to grab it. Uh, my case, probably one of the best ones on red. Uh, Astro, though, it can use it. Uh, it is not her best color. She's best on green and blue. Uh, let's see. What other options do we have? Unfortunately, there aren't that many SRs in the game. <laughs> oddly enough. Um, but we need more. We need more. And be sure to use all your, uh, all your supporters that you have available. I am just using 
F2P options, but you can also grab uh, things that are available in the gacha. But I'm avoiding them so that you use at least the bare minimum. Green is also a great color for DPS thanks to Misaki. Be sure to grab Misaki. Blue is also a great a color for DPS because of Arabella. And not only Arabella. There's also the big three, but you need a little bit of luck in the gacha for this. The big three are going to be Haruka for human. Amani for machines. And the recently rerun Onigumo for Demon. If you have those three, you're going to be fine on your DPS with blue. So, I hope you find this useful, guys. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos on BR. Um, I, I still need to progress to show you on the most difficult levels a very useful strategy. But, anyways, that's going to be it for today. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.